They're not really gonna send her to the incinerator, jeez. Welcome back, super friends and super family. I am Thor, your friendly neighborhood god of thunder. Today, I'm reacting to Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. So I'm continuing my run of Tim Burton movies. Once again, teamed up with Johnny Depp here. I have seen the original, so Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, I have seen that back when I was a kid, so I grew up watching that movie. Never seen this version with Tim Burton. I've heard mixed things. I've heard some people who love it, some people who really dislike it. I've heard some people say that it's more true to the book, which I actually read, I believe, in like third or fifth grade. So I don't remember it too, too well. But I, I would be very interested, to, first of all, just to see Tim Burton's style and take. I've really been enjoying his filmography. If you haven't seen, I have a whole playlist of Tim Burton reactions. If this is the first video you're coming across on my channel. But I don't know. I, I, I also, I'm just very interested to see this take, to see Johnny Depp and uh, ready to dive into this. As always, if you want to see the full unedited reaction of this, it's up on Patreon. Next week's Tim Burton reaction, Mars Attacks, is also going to be out right now for early access on Patreon. Stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more Tim Burton reactions or any of my other classic movie reactions. Got a bunch of great ones coming up. And let me know in the comments. Like I said, I've seen the original Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory back when I was a kid. If you would like me to revisit that, maybe do a commentary video, maybe compare and contrast this version with that version, let me know. Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear. But let's just get into this. Tim Burton's Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. It's gotta be Danny Elfman again, right? It better be. I'm gonna be, uh, I'm so enjoying the team ups with Burton and Elfman. It's gotta be, it sounds so much like an Elfman score. Dang, that is huge. That's part of the factory. Where does he do his construction? Our man Johnny, of course. Okay. Well, I'm digging the title card. Dang, I should have gotten some chocolate bars to eat along while watching this reaction. You guys, while you're watching it, get some chocolate. Oh, no way. She's in this? Who is she going to play? I wonder how similar the two versions are going to be, or if there's going to be completely new characters. James Fox, not Jamie Fox. Christopher Lee. Okay. I love like he's a returning actor that worked with Tim Burton. I had no idea they worked together until I doing, started doing these Tim Burton movies. What the heck? Is, this is such an interesting opening soundtrack. Like I don't know what those little voices are and it feels so modernized in a way. Of course, the legend himself. Ah, there it is. Okay. So they are gonna follow like the same golden tickets, right? You have to, I mean, that's so integral to the story. I mean, this whole process seems so completely fully automated. I'm wondering like what exactly the Oompa Loompas do. They've got quite the system going on here. Very efficient. I mean, Christmas must be Tim Burton's favorite holiday, right? I feel like he and Shane Black share an affection for that holiday in particular. And that's awesome, because I love Christmas. Oh, I want, maybe the Oompa Loompas are the delivery drivers. They're like Uber Eats, but only for chocolate. Charlie Bucket. I never knew his last name was Bucket. It's not faster or stronger. He's so young. He had enough to eat. Okay, that is such a Burton-esque house, and I love it. All leaning sideways. Charlie Bucket was the luckiest boy in the entire world. The luckiest ever? That's a pretty strong claim. Oh, she's... what, his mom? Is there not a grandfather in this one? Don't suppose there's anything extra to put in. <laughs> that does not look very nutritious, I'll or filling, or tasty. The pay was terrible, yet occasionally there were unexpected surprises. What was that, though? Holy, is that a miniature? That's a miniature factory! I saw Willy Wonka with my own two eyes. You did not, did you? You did. I did. He did. He did. I love grapes. <laughs> Not related, but I still like the contribution. Willy Wonka began with a single store. But the whole world wanted his candy. 
He does not look 20 years younger. Is that part of the joke? <laughs> well then, we'll need to make some more. Okay, what is Johnny doing with his voice? He sounds so strange. Did you know he invented a new way of making chocolate ice cream? So that it stays cold for hours without a freezer. Dang. Okay, what an outfit. What an outfit. I love how they're like teasing us getting a good look at his face, too. Holding scissors just reminds me of Edward Scissorhands. Grandpa, don't make it gross. <laughs> That's some Princess Bride humor mixed in there. You mean Prince Pondicherry. Pondo what? The bricks were chocolate, and the cement holding them together was chocolate. All the walls and ceilings were made of chocolate. I mean, that's insane to be able to do that. The craftsmanship. It is perfect in every way. Yeah, but it won't last long. You better start eating right now. Oh, nonsense. I will not eat my palace. I intend to live in it. Uh, you might want to listen to the architect, no? There came a very hot day with a boiling sun. Is he going to drown in chocolate? I mean, what'd you think it was? <laughs> yeah, you're going to stop laughing very soon. I hope you guys better get out of there quick. The prince okay, they escaped. An telegram they are fortunate. All the other chocolate makers, you see, had grown jealous of Mr. Wonka. They began sending in spies to steal his secret recipes. Those jerks, those jerks. Of course they would do that. Okay, who labels it secret recipe? That's a little bit obvious, whether the spy did it or whether that was done in Wonka's factory. Not, uh, not smart packaging. Mr. Wonka told every single one of his workers to go home. That he was closing his chocolate factory. That's so sad. I mean, it's sad that they all got laid off. I'm sorry. Oh, he even says he's sorry. See, he feels bad for the workers, but you can understand. Like, it's so frustrating. He puts all his passion and work into it, and they just steal his ideas. But it didn't close forever. It's open right now. Ah, yes. Well, sometimes when grown-ups say forever, they mean a very long time. <laughs> it helps It helps with the dramatic effect when telling a story. Forever just sounds better. The factory was back in business. Did you get your job back? No. No one did. They replaced it with non-human employees, the Oompa Loompas. Nobody knows, Charlie. It certainly is a mystery. Hasn't someone asked Mr. Wonka? Nobody sees him anymore. He's a giant recluse, huh? And it will always be a mystery. Don't say always, don't say always. I love that despite how poor they are and how short they are on food, like they make a point to eat together, to talk together, to hang out. Like that shows a family with some some real good values. Nothing's impossible. Yes, yes. That grandma knows to give little encouragement. Okay, those aren't Oompa Loompas. At least they look like humans. Burton really loves, like, having his cities and his locations have, like, this very uniform, identical nature. And it, it makes for a very kind of distinct visual style that I like. Dang, that crowd was just ready to read the sign. Did they coordinate that? Like, they just all showed up at once. Dear people of the world, I, Willy Wonka, have decided to allow five children to visit my factory this year. In addition... One of these children shall receive a special prize beyond anything you could ever imagine. I feel like quoting Han Solo, like, I can imagine quite a lot. Any town in any country in the world. I'm so excited to see, like, who the other kids are, like, all the brats, right? I mean, what a genius marketing campaign. Like, call, call Willy Wonka eccentric? Maybe he just knows what he's doing. <laughs> open a bar of candy and find a golden ticket inside. But I only get one bar a year for my birthday. Well, it's your birthday next week. Good timing, good timing. The kids are going to find the golden tickets are the ones who can afford to buy candy bars every day. I mean, statistically you're right, but come on, have some hope for the poor child. 
Everyone has a chance, Charlie. Exactly. The kid who finds the first ticket will be fat, fat, fat. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong. Coke? Come on, who who started the camera footage without wiping that poor kid's mouth? So I look and I find the golden ticket. I love how he didn't even look to see if there's a golden ticket. He just like ate it and that's how he found out. He eats so many candy bars a day that it was not possible for him not to find one. I mean, you're proud of that? You're the one who's raising this kid with such an unhealthy lifestyle. You're not doing him a service. Told you it'd be a poker. <laughs> Oh, this is Veruca? Okay. E-R-U-C-A. Veruca Salt. I love Veruca. She might be my favorite, at least in the original. I mean, how many people... This looks like an Amazon workplace, right? Like, how much is he paying these poor ladies? I hope he's a decent employer. I hope I'm misjudging this dude, but I doubt it. Where's my golden ticket? I want my golden ticket! <laughs> I love Veruca. Well, gentlemen, I just hated to see my little girl feeling unhappy like that. Was well, she going to try to keep it for herself? She is. Okay, how was he watching all of them that closely, bro? Daddy, I want another pony. <laughs> right away, right away, the second she gets that. Wow, the, the definition of spoiled. And that's really the parents' fault. That man spoils his daughter, and no good ever comes from spoiling a child like that. Exactly, some basic wisdom. Charlie, Mum and I thought maybe you want to open your birthday present tonight. They're so sweet. It. It means even more them doing things like this, knowing how much they're really struggling and barely getting by. Maybe I should wait till morning. Like hell. Pop. <laughs> I agree with the pop right there. Altogether, we're 381 years old. We don't wait. <laughs> I agree with that argument as well. Come on, open it. Come on. We know there's going to be a ticket inside. I love how it feels suspenseful, though, even though I know he's going to win a ticket. What? Turn it on the other side. Look on the other side. Look closely. Look everywhere, dude. We'll share it. Oh, no, Charlie. Not your birthday present. It's my candy bar. And I'll do what I want with it. Okay, what a thing for Charlie to do. You know he must be so disappointed. His first instinct is to share, like, polar opposite with Veruca. I thought he found it in the... F maybe he finds a second chocolate bar? Or maybe this is different from the original. I don't remember everything in the original. Oh, he eats, like, such a tiny little bite of it. Like, trying to enjoy it, take his time. <laughs> She's smelling <laughs> You know they don't get a lot of treats too often in that house. <laughs> he takes the paper from out of the trash. It's like one man's trash, another man's treasure. <laughs> Holy, she does karate in this one? <laughs> and she's a badass. How old is she? She just like knocked out all her instructors. Mom for three months. Sorry. Okay, that mom is giving crazy eyes. Okay. My share of trophies, mostly baton. Okay, quit trying to get the attention for yourself, mother. Like your daughter, it's her moment. Okay, her eyes are freaking me out, man. <laughs> Tell them why. Cut away from your face, please. You don't know what we are talking about. Dragonflies? <laughs> hey, she's trying to join in the conversation. She could be hard of hearing. It might be hard to follow. Most of the time, I don't know what he's talking about. Well, kids these days, what with all the technology. Bro, kids these days, you're the literal dad. Well, it's a good thing you're going to a chocolate factory. You ungrateful little bu- <laughs> Okay. Said Scott Pilgrim, I have not seen a more creative way to, like, cut out the swearing. That is just awesome. That is a really awesome directing little touch. Oh, well, uh, the toothpaste factory thought they'd give me a bit of time off. 
Oh, he lost his job, didn't he? And like good parents, they're not, you know, burdening the little Charlie with that knowledge. So what do they do? Replace it with AI or something? With the extra money, the factory had decided to modernize. Eliminating Mr. Bucket's job. That's so sad. This poor dude. All of them. How many people lost their jobs because of that? You'll find another job. Until then, I'll just, um, I'll just thin down the suit a little more. <laughs> thin down the suit more? Don't worry, Mr. Bucket. Oh, Charlie's gonna Don't understand. He knows. He's a perceptive little kid. You and I are going to have one more fling at finding that last ticket. Are you sure you want to spend your money on that crump? Of course, I'm sure. Yeah. You gotta love Grandpa Joe. You gotta love him. Bring it straight back. I think this is what happens in the original, actually. I think the grandpa, that it, it rings a bell. Like, I think he gives him a little bit of money so he can find the ticket. Uh, grandpa. <gasps> yes. What an interesting, like, transition like that. Which end should we open first? Just do it quick, like a band-aid. <laughs> I think that's good advice. I mean, it has to be in this one, right? Really? Okay, how is he going to get this ticket? Is it going to, like, drop down out of the sky for Charlie? Did you see that some kid in Russia found the last golden ticket? Yes, it was in the paper this morning. <laughs> okay, could their dogs be much more different sizes right there? Aw, poor Charlie. Is he literally going to just find it in the gutter? Okay, how many Wonka bars can you buy with $10? Come on, it has to have the ticket, right? Okay. There you go, Charlie. Protect it. For, don't all the people rush him in the original? I hope they don't try to steal it in this one. Get your parents. Get your parents. Get an adult who's looking out for you. Listen, I'll buy it from you. I'll give you $50. Fifty dollars, bro. Shut up. Pay like five thousand dollars. Your ticket for five hundred dollars, young man. That's enough of that. Leave the kid alone. Hey, good for you, sticking up for him. Don't let anyone have it. Take it straight home. Do you understand? Thank you. See that people like that restore your faith in humanity. Don't slip in the snow. Careful, Charlie. They can't believe it. They can't believe it. Comes into focus. <laughs> Yippee! Yes! Come on! Let's hear exactly what it says. First thing that we have to decide is this. Who is going with Charlie to the factory? I will. <laughs> I love how the grandfather, like, volunteers himself so quickly. Provided, of course, he feels well enough. Yippee! <laughs> I mean, come on, come on. No, we're not going. What? We need the money more than we need the chocolate. But couldn't you sell your lifetime supply of chocolate? But what a selfless thing for Charlie to say, right? The poor grandpa, he's so let down. Are you a dummy? No, sir. Then get that mud off your pants. You've got a factory to go to. I mean, come on, come on, how awesome is this? And how how clearly you can see, like, how the whole family, like, something as superficial as wealth and money has never been a top priority for any of them. Oh, they're <laughs> giving nasty looks to each other already. <laughs> and with her crazy eyes, I would not want her looking at me, dude. She's the scariest, I think, of all of them here. Daddy, I want to go in. It's 9.59, sweetheart. Make time go faster. <laughs> Do you think Mr. Monk I'm so excited to see, like, Johnny up close as Willy Wonka. I'm surprised they don't need security to keep other members of the crowd from rushing in. I feel like that would happen. Close the gate. Okay, voice control. It's like, a uh, Alexa. Who am I? Well, I think we know who you are. What the heck? I don't, I don't know how to take this. I don't know if it's creepy or just eccentric or both. <laughs> He's got little fireworks and everything. 
What the heck? It's a little concerning. Yeah. Yeah, that's a little bit, uh, a little bit ominous to see. I was worried he was getting a little dodgy in the middle part, but then that finale. He pulled a Batman, just showed up. What are those glasses, man? The Earth says hello. <laughs> How do you respond to that? Just say good morning. <laughs> Were you one of those despicable spies? Steal my life's work and sell it to those parasitic copycat no. candy making cats. That was the first time he sounds like Johnny, though. Like he's almost unrecognizable. I know he has like his hat, and I, I don't even think this is real hair. It's got to be a wig, right? Okay, Johnny is unrecognizable. He really is. What? Mr. Wonka, I'm Valley Beauregard. Oh. <laughs> well, you should Santa Girl is going to win the special prize at the end. I'm very result. It's very nice to meet you, sir. He seemed horrified by her. I always thought a Veruca was a type of wart you got on the bottom of your foot. <laughs> Is it? Parents. Yeah. <laughs> Moms and dads. <laughs> Dad? Papa? What the? Okay, then. Let's move along. Okay, I know Willy Wonka has always been a little bit out there and eccentric, but this takes it to a whole other level. Now, I wonder how much of this is him putting on a show. I don't know. Let's be friends. Best friends. <laughs> they, they're gonna be fighting each other for sure. I can't wait to see the little mean girl energy going on between them. I mean, that is so small. Oh, you got the chocolate waterfall too? Okay, so this, this feels, from what I remember, like an updated version of that first location in the original movie. Don't get overexcited. Just keep very... I mean, good luck. Good luck. I couldn't stay calm as an adult just for how magnificent this is. Come on, you can't just drop your trash around and you didn't even finish that chocolate bar. You better not ever let a fly in this factory. I'll just say that. No other factory in the world mixes its chocolate by waterfall, my dear children. You can take that to the bank. I mean, look, you're one of a kind. You and your factory, Willie. Everything in this room is eatable. Even I'm eatable. Even you? That is called cannibalism, my dear children. Oh, okay. It is, in fact, frowned upon in most <laughs> society. It is. I mean, could there be a more interesting tour guide anywhere? Like, I would I would have him as my tour guide. I don't care what vacation I'm on. There almost see there is like there's some type of like emptiness in Johnny's eyes. It's a little bit intimidating, you know? I kinda like that in his performance. Please. Dad, you said enjoy. Yeah, not trash and stomp on, bro. Although for him that's what he's learned to enjoy, right? Oh. With all the candy around, you have to steal the one? Okay, I'm glad she puts the gun behind her ear like she used to. Because then I wouldn't be a champion. I'd be a loser, like you. Wow, wow. She's gonna grow up to be Rachel McAdams, huh? Oh, bro. Oh, bro. She's just stuffing her face, too. Everybody. Ugh. Okay, this is just out of control. Over there, by the waterfall. I'm so curious to see the Oompa Loompas. Well, then you'll know all about it and know what a terrible country it is. <laughs> He's like, play along or get out of here. Wait, is it actually real? I mean, the thing is huge. Yeah, I would never go to a place with bugs that big. No, thank you. Exotic new flavors for candy. You try the bug you cut in half? That's dedication, Mr. Willy Wonka. You Loompas ate nothing but green caterpillars, which tasted revolting. I was gonna say, what a diet, bro. But not quite so beastly as the caterpillars. Is he really gonna try it? Oh no. Oh no. This is gonna be so bad. He's putting on such a brave face, but come on. <laughs> oh, come on, don't eat it. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, that's disgusting. Ugh, ugh, ugh. An Oompa Loompa was lucky if he found three or four coca beans a year. Oh, 
how they craved them. All they'd ever think about was coca beans. Really? I can't remember if this is from the book or not, or if this is just completely Burton's own take on the Oompa Loompas. <laughs> what a for what a language. <laughs> I love how he, like, learned the language, too. He didn't even, like, bother with the translator. No. Oh, Augustus. Goodbye. Jeez, he's caught in the whirlpool. Jeez, it's breaking. He's slowing down. He's gonna oh, sit. shoot. The pressure is going to build up. He looks amused like he's wondering what's going to happen. Okay, here we go. They're very well choreographed, I will say that already. Like, look at the spaces between them. Running. I think, I remember there being like songs in the book. I, I don't remember if this is exactly the same lyrics or not. <laughs> they all just dive in. <laughs> like, what a camera shot. I don't know what kind of distortion they're doing with the voices that they have, but it's it's so inhuman, right? I do say that all seemed rather rehearsed. Like they knew it was gonna happen. Oh, fuck. That is interesting though, right? Like how much of this, how how much can Willy Wonka tell what's actually gonna happen? <laughs> what the heck was that? <laughs> oh, it's the language, I forgot, okay. Yeah, go help get your son. He's the first one eliminated. Mr. Wonka. Why would Augustus's name already be in the Oompa Loompa song? Unless they Improvisation were... is a part of trick. Anyone can do it. Mmm... I don't buy that. Chewing gum is really gross. Chewing gum I hate the most. See? Exactly the same. Yeah, but come on, for them all to coordinate? You really shouldn't mumble, because I can't understand the word you're saying. It's so interesting, like, how he deals with contradictions, you know? It's almost like he pretends they don't exist. Like, when the guy was correcting him with the geography, he's like, no, you know I'm right, you know? Oh, he would be fine. Oh, great. Oh, great. The grandpa's concerned. Oh, okay. Are they gonna have the tunnel scene? What kind of candy is this boat made of? That chocolate contains a property that triggers the release of endorphins. Gives one the feeling of being in love. That's why chocolate is so tasty. Okay. <laughs> she was, like, looking at him like, Hey, you wanna, like, hang out in a private room real quick? I will say I've never seen Johnny immersed in a character like this before. You're all quite short, aren't you? Well, yeah, we're children. Well, that's no excuse. I was never as short as you. <laughs> you were once. Was not. No, why? Because I distinctly remember putting a hat on top of my head. Oof, Look at your short oof. little arms. You could never reach. <laughs> I love how he's talking to them like he's a child too, like arguing back and forth. In fact, Willy Wonka hadn't thought about his childhood. Oh, yeah. Oh, tell me we're going to get a backstory on him. This will be so interesting. Little Willy Wonka. That's him. Willy Wonka was the son of the city's most famous dentist, Wilbur Wonka. Interesting. Interesting that he would then shift careers into making chocolate. I feel like dentists oh. and, you know, chocolate. Oh, Christopher Let's Lee is the, the dad? This is amazing. Oh. Oh, he's not going to have any candy at all, is he? What to be called cavities on a stick. I can just imagine what this dad would talk about when he's talking to his son about don't do drugs. If he's this angry about candy, bro. Maybe I'm not allergic. I could try a piece. Really? But do I take a chance? Because he's a kid and chocolate is good and candy is normal, bro. Oh, come on. What a waste, too. Holy, it's like a full-on roller coaster, man. Hair cream. What do you use hair cream for? Fucking moisture. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? That's a ch cream. Precisely. Huh? Oh wow. For your information, little girl, whipped cream isn't whipped cream at all unless it's been whipped with whips. Everybody knows that. Whenever he says those things when people disagree with him, he has this look behind his eyes that looks a little bit scary. I mean, no one's screaming. I feel like I would be screaming. <laughs> it's like one of those, like, water rapids rides, except in a boat, not one of those circular things. The inventing room. 
I wonder what they do there. Now, everyone enjoy yourselves, but just don't touch anything. Go on, let's go. Good luck with them listening to those rules. And this is hair toffee. Hair toffee? One of these little boogers, and in exactly half an hour, a brand new crop of hair will start growing out all over the top of your little noggin. Oh, that would sell out all over. So, brother... Oh, come on. Don't leave him hanging. You're trying to win the prize, even just for your own selfish interests. Give him a high five. Holy. That's like Rapunzel level growing hair, man. It's a stick of the most amazing and sensational gum in the whole universe. Okay, I want to try it. Because this gum is a full three course dinner all by itself. <laughs> oh, I remember this. I think this is in the original one, too. Why would anyone want that? For a diet, maybe? For the sensation? For excitement? <laughs> He's looking to his cards for his responses. I'd rather you didn't. There's still one or two things that are... I'm the world record holder in chewing gum. I'm not afraid of anything. Um, okay. What's gonna be wrong with it? What's happening to her nose? Uh-oh. Here we go. Her whole nose has gone purple. Well, that's why you don't chew gum when he says don't chew it. Oh, she's all happy. I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> he looks terrified himself. I mean, the turning looks really good. I like how it's gradual, too. It just slowly spreads. Oh, shoot. Up. Yeah, you could say that, man. I mean, I kind of feel bad for her. I know she's a brat, but I blame her mom, and this is horrifying, man. She's like turning into a blueberry job of the hut. Someone do an x-ray. I would love to see the internal anatomy. But I can't have a blueberry as a daughter. How is she supposed to compete? Oh my gosh, that's what you're concerned about, lady? Alright, here we go. Another song from the Oompa Loompas. Let's do this. I love how excited he gets by their performances. Okay, they're literally bouncing on top of her. <laughs> What's gonna happen when her head like rolls on top of itself? That's gotta hurt. I don't blame her for screaming. I want you to roll Miss Beauregard into the boat and take her along to the juicing room at once. The juicing room? <laughs> we gotta squeeze all that juice out of her immediately. That does not... That sounds like a painful, unpleasant process, for sure. Can you remember the first candy you ever ate? That's an interesting question. In fact, Willy Wonka did remember the first candy. I wonder why he lied about that. Oh, did he get it from the fireplace? What a memory. I doubt many kids this is their first memory of eating candy. I can't even remember the first time I had candy. I hope the dad doesn't catch him. Dang. I don't know if that was an effect or in a filter, but it's pretty cool. <laughs> he writes a little note about it. I'm sorry, I was having a flashback. <laughs> I see. That feels like a meta movie moment. These flashbacks happen often? Increasingly. Today. <laughs> I mean, if I was a parent, I would be a little bit concerned. <laughs> <laughs> He's acting so strange. <laughs> you see, Mr. Wonka, I myself am in the nut business. He gives him a card. He throws it away. No. <laughs> You're really weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love the way he'll dismiss people that he's uninterested in, and I love his little laugh. Oh, wow. That's amazing. That's amazing. Oh, look, look. I think that one's got a bad nut. Daddy, I want a squirrel. Get me one. Oh, this is like the bad eggs, like the geese in the original movie. All I've got at home is one pony and two dogs and bunny rabbits and two parakeets and two canaries and a green parrot and a turtle and a silly old hamster. <laughs> yeah, just a zoo. Just a zoo. How much do you want for one of these squirrels? Name your price. That smile. She can't have one. That's not a word she hears often. Can't. Yeah, see how quickly that smile disappeared. I'm sorry, darling. Mr. Wonka's being unreasonable. <laughs> okay, that was pretty good. I'll get one myself. This 
This is what happens when you give a kid everything they want. They think that that's how the real world works. Are they gonna gang up against her for interrupting their workflow? Cool girl. And I love how he just stands there and doesn't go after his little daughter. Like, run after her and grab her. <laughs> Some intense squirrel close-ups. He just stands there. He just stands there. It's like, jump over the railing, Dad. Oh no, what's gonna happen? <laughs> Knocks on the head. What are they doing? They're testing to see if she's a bad nut. Oh shoot. Let me oh guess. Goodness. She is bad nut after all. Well, that was pretty obvious. Where does the shoot go? To the incinerator. But don't worry, we only light it on Tuesdays. Today is Tuesday. <laughs> Great. He's like, I don't appreciate that reminder. They're not really going to send her to the incinerator. Jeez. I mean, how dark is this movie going to go? Oh. Dang, just like that, they all go back to work. Just below the top. If that's the case, all you have to do is just reach in and pull her out. Okay? conveniently found the key right now. Come on. Willy Wonka is in complete control of everything that's happening right now, right? For all his acting surprised. That's how I feel. For example, Jeez. This who went and spoiled her, who exactly, exactly. Dang, they are so small. They're smaller than I even thought, like seeing them compared to him. He's like trying to control his laughter. Fudge Mountain, really? I would love to stop by Fudge Mountain, I'm not gonna lie. Dang, it looks like a Star Wars interior with those lights a little bit. Like, remember that, you guys remember that thing in Empire Strikes Back? It looks like that. Was cotton candy? I'd rather not talk about this one. <laughs> it's the faces he makes, man. They like. Did it just get invented when he burned those puppets? What the heck? What is this room for, man? Why is everything here completely pointless? He doesn't have to have a point. That's why it's candy. There you go. How about the point of just enjoying it, bro? Go ahead. But I won't be here when you come back. It's like, can you imagine the horrible thing your son does? Like he's interested in a candy career? Sorry, son. Oh shoot. <laughs> See, I thought he was traveling everywhere. That was a nice that was a nice misdirection actually with the flags. I wanna pick a room. Go ahead. That's not a good facial expression. I would be concerned. How predictable do you wanna be, kid? Okay, this reminds me of the original Here, too. Put these on quick and don't take them off whatever you do. This light could burn your eyeballs right out of your skulls. I would listen to his warnings, especially after everything you've seen. I'm not going in that direction. <laughs> He's watching <laughs> Oprah. That's just amazing. Would be like nine atomic bombs. Mumbler! <laughs> Seriously. I love how that's how he always shuts this kid down. I think he's more of a hater than a mumbler, but I get where you're coming from, Willie. It's gone! I mean, come on, that is impressive, right? Can you imagine if you could do that? Like you watch an ad for a delicious meal or something, you can just buy it, reach in, grab it from the TV. So imagine, uh, you're sitting at home watching television, and suddenly a commercial will flash onto the screen, and a voice will say, Wonka's chocolates are the best in the world. See, just like I was saying, in a commercial. Try one for yourself. Oh, and you get it for free on the commercial too? That's amazing marketing. Don't you realize what you've invented? It's a teleporter. It's the most important invention in the history of the world. And all you think about is chocolate. You gotta think magically, not so literally. He knows what he's talking about. Exactly. You think he's a genius, but he's an idiot. But I'm not. Okay, here we go. Time to shrink down, bro. Hey, little boy. Don't push my button. 
I get that double meaning. I mean, come on, what do you think is gonna happen, kid? Just common sense here. He's gone. Look to the TV. Well, I sometimes only half the little pieces find their way through. <laughs> he tells them now. Try every channel. I'm starting to feel a little anxious. <laughs> the irony of saying of being anti-television as I'm watching a movie. <laughs> Mixing it up a little bit here musically. I like it. Just <laughs> a little psycho reference. Rock'em Sock'ems. Is that a little reference from The Fly? Just back way. There is no other way. Vision of telephone is quite different. Oh, shoot. Little boy up to the taffy puller, okay? Stretch him out. Yeah, little boy. Literally very little. <gasps> Dang, he's like scared of him, like he's disgusted. On with the tour. They, I, they're down. We're down to just Charlie and his grandpa already. You mean you're the only one? Yes. I mean, there's no one else standing there. Wait. Oh my dear boy, but that means you've won. Just like that? No, it can't be that easy. It can't be that easy. The great glass elevator to speed things along. <laughs> Sometimes glass elevators, you know, that's one of the dangers of the design. <laughs> he just laughs. Oh, they have to free fall back? Yeah, I would not be able to make it. Oh, oh dang, we get to see the aftermath. Come on, I hope you guys learn at least a little something after this experience. Look, Mother, I'm much more flexible now. Yes, but you're blue. It's like she has no interest in her daughter. She can't bring her, you know, her own glory. <laughs> I mean, I feel like you guys deserved it, but you guys will be able to shake it off. Just shower a few times. They're gonna be so jealous seeing Charlie all above them, right? Daddy, I want a flying glass elevator. Look, the only thing you'll get in today is a bath, and that's fine. Oh. But I want it! Oh, is he all stretched out? I mean, those side effects are permanent for most of them. I feel like Veruca got off easy. Ah! They just crashed through the roof of their house? That seems like a Willy Wonka entrance if there ever was one, right? I think there's someone at the door. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she might be the best character. Oh, he goes right over to kiss his daughter. You must be the boy's... Parents? Why can't he say the word parents? It's so interesting. Not just some something. The most something something of any something that's ever been. Okay, I like that sentence. The most something something of something that's ever been. Who would watch over them after I was gone? I realized in that moment, I must find a hair. <laughs> oh, wow. Are you ready to leave all this behind and come live with me at the factory? Sure, of course. I mean, it's all right if my family come too. Oh, he looks after them immediately. Of course they can't. You can't run a chocolate factory with a family hanging over you like an old dead goose. No offense. None taken, Jeff. <laughs> the chocolatier has to run free and solo. He has to follow his dreams. Gosh darn the consequences. Oh, come on. Don't make him choose. No, I'm not going. Good for you, Charlie. Oh, I see. He seems almost hurt. That's weird. This has to be a test, right? Well, that's just unexpected and weird. It is weird. It is un weird in the best sense of like finding someone who's, you know, put their family above money like that. Goodbye then. Oh, come on. You can't really be saying goodbye, can you? Sure you won't change your mind? I'm sure. I love how he's certain despite how young he is, you know? I mean, they can't actually end the movie like this, right? I feel like Charlie has to get the factory somehow. Things are going to get much better. She's such an optimistic. Charlie's father got a better job at the toothpaste factory. 
repairing the machine that had replaced him. Well, look at that. Talk about adapting. Well done. I make the candy I feel like, but now I feel terrible, so the candy's terrible. You're very good. <laughs> he just nods like, yep, I know I am. That's the one. That's here in the papers is new candy. That's him. I recognize the voice. Come on. He also has a funny haircut. <laughs> I do not. Why are you here? He knew all along, didn't he? What makes you feel better when you feel terrible? My family. Ew. He's ew. <laughs> Usually they're just trying to protect you because they love you. If you don't believe me, you should ask. Yeah, there's a big difference between good families and bad families, too. You want me to go with you? Oh, it's so sweet for him to offer. Hey. Hey, what a good idea. Yeah. Really? I mean, this is this took such a hard left turn. I mean, any reason to see more Christopher Lee, I'm down for. So, uh, I think you nailed it. He seems so nervous. Come on. Oh. I hope his teeth aren't really rotten because he eats candy. So well. What a shot through the mouth. How do they do shots like that? As someone who hates going to the dentist, I feel bad for Willy Wonka right now. I mean, if he has all those newspaper clippings, I feel like he must actually be really proud of his son, right? I haven't seen by cuspids like these. Is he going to recognize him through the teeth? Will he? Please reconcile. All these years. You haven't flossed. <laughs> then they both have gloves. That's interesting. I love peanuts. Oh, thank you. You smell like old people and soap. <laughs> I like it. <gasps> Look at that. He's got his own family. How do you feel about little raspberry kites? With licorice instead of string. Boys, no business at the dinner table. <laughs> In the end, Charlie Bucket won a chocolate fact. But Willy Wonka has something even better. I agree. Oh, hold a on. Family. What the heck? It's like salt shakers, right? And one thing was absolutely... What the heck? Life had never been sweeter. Is this like a twist ending or is this just kind of an interesting visual? I don't know how to take that with the Oompa Loompa narrating at the end. <laughs> All right. So that is Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Um... Very interesting movie, and it and it did some things. While there were certainly scenes that I think are inspired by the original film and feel reminiscent of that, and I think a lot of those scenes are taken from the book and descriptions in there as well. I believe I could be wrong. Anyone who is more familiar with the book, please, if you want to let me know, like what is being faithful to the original source material and what changes they made, I would love a breakdown with some of the details. But but it took some really interesting turns there at the end. Like things happened that I really didn't expect, and I think. I'm pretty sure that's a complete change from like Tim Burton and that's not even in the original source material unless I'm really, I mean, it was a long, long time ago. So maybe I'm just forgetting everything, but I was very surprised, especially with just those last like 15, 20 minutes at the end. But overall, I mean, once again, we have another great score from Danny Elfman and it's a very Tim Burton movie. It just, you can see his style, especially with the visuals and the set pieces and the coloring like all over the place. And, and I think once again, like Tim Burton, I think he's very smart in like the stories that he chooses. I think he goes after scripts and ideas that he probably himself is very passionate about and also knows that he can do his own like interesting, unique take on it. And I like that. We have to talk about Johnny Depp as Willy Wonka. I think he nailed it. I mean, he did something very, very different than what Gene Wilder did. And like I said, let me know in the comments if you would be interested in me rewatching um, the original like Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, because I, I actually am curious to do that because I don't remember everything super well. But now that I've just seen this version, I'd love to kind of compare and contrast. And Gene Wilder is so amazing. His performance is so killer in that. But looking at Johnny Depp just on his own here, I actually really, really like what he did here, because first of all, I feel like he makes his own take on Willy Wonka his own like it is very very different than the original movie and I also feel like just like I was kind of saying during the reaction I feel like Johnny Depp was 
so much more than I thought. I kind of expected he would be a little bit Jack Sparrow-esque, like being Johnny Depp, but doing some just oddball things. But he really did not feel like Johnny Depp in this movie. And that's a compliment. Like he was Willy Wonka. And what a character Willy Wonka really was. I mean, easily the most interesting aspect of the movie was Willy Wonka. And I love how he spent some time getting glimpses of his backstory. I love, love, love that we got to see Christopher Lee and in multiple scenes throughout the movie. And just, there were so many little quirks and mannerisms. I mean, of course, like the actual design of Willy was so interesting and very unique from his outfit to his hair to his face. Like, look very pale. But I really love, like, all the little like mannerisms and facial tics and quirks, especially when he was like responding to the children, you know, like how he would have little back and forth with them or when the parents would criticize his methods. Like there was a lot of subtlety going on to it on in his face and his expression and his voice. And it, I, I feel like eccentric is a word that it describes him, but it is not enough. Like there needs to be a stronger form of that word. I'm sure it exists out there for someone who has a better vocabulary than me because he's such a different, wacky person. And I also, it kept me guessing because there were, there were actually a few times where he seemed almost threatening, like a little bit scary. Same with the Oompa Loompas. They were interesting, different design from the original but there were a few times, you know, where it's like, I could see you getting creeped out by both Willy Wonka and the Oompa Loompas and be a little bit concerned. Um, but I thought it was a really, really strong performance from Johnny Depp. And then what I really like, probably my favorite aspect of it, and this is something that is very different and I didn't expect it, but that in the end, even though Willy Wonka goes through this elaborate thing to find an heir, someone to take over the factory, look after the Oompa Loompas, and it's a test for the children... The person who really needed help was Willy Wonka. And I thought that was such a nice subversion and kind of a cool thing. And maybe I'm reading too much into this, but I actually see a big analogy for like an artist. And I'll just say, if you look at Willy Wonka, like this very talented, creative person, someone who's an artist, and maybe he grew up in a family who, of course, rejects that. He gets none of that support. And then he's inspired. He works hard. He creates this wonderful thing. You know, maybe Tim Burton himself could relate to this. You know, someone, I don't know what his household or family was like at all, but, and you're just saying, like, I feel like it's a very classic artist story. You know, someone who pours themselves into their craft and maybe doesn't get that acceptance from their parents and their family, but still ends up becoming very successful and talented. But there's still that thing missing. And they're too focused on like their craft making them happy. Like they pour so much into it because that's their passion in life. But if you have that without something as fundamental as family, what do you really have? And I feel like that was kind of the moral and the lesson that Willy Wonka needed to learn. And I like that because, yes, while it was a test for the children, what it really ended up being was that Willy Wonka learned through Charlie about life and about making those amends and having those human connections. And I think it's very meaningful that he wore those gloves all the time because I think that can so easily symbolize, like, the inability to reach out and actually touch someone like that part of him was broken or unused and he had been so focused on you know the craft and the artistry of his company that he lost sight of something very important in life so I, I, that was just a cool little lesson and something that i didn't expect um i like the different children you know <laughs> The, they're, they're they're amusing in the original but in this one they're also very very good I, I think all the all the child actors should be proud of their performances in this movie and as a whole i just i love the story of charlie and the chocolate factory i think it's it's a very powerful fable and kind of warning story and I, you just you really see that like i think what it's really speaking to even though the focus is the children is to the parents and I don't I don't know exactly how to interpret the fact that Willy Wonka couldn't say the word parents. But to me, like the real blame, like, yes, we're seeing these children who are brats, who are spoiled, who have severe issues. But to me, it's just very, very clear that 99 percent of the blame of their behavior really rests on the parents. You know, I, I, I subscribe to the philosophy from what I've been told, from what I've understood and just from observing, you know, anecdotally. You know, I really think that especially at a certain age, like so much of a child, whether they're a good kid or a bad kid, whether they you know how to behave in public or, you know, they're polite or rude or they have good habits regarding their health or anything like that, it's really down to their parents. And I think that point was emphasized in the movie with 
the parents, first of all, being so caught up in themselves over their children, but also like how they really weren't overly concerned for their kids. Like they were concerned, but only in the ways that it reflected back on them. And there was never a sense of urgency. You know, their kid wasn't in danger and they're rushing out to save them. But I I, I think that's just, I just think it's a really cool kind of lesson to have in a movie. And, you know, like the, the differences in the in the results that you get from different families is so apparent when you see like the the kids, right? It's just a very a, a way to make that nice and clear. And then of course you have the Oompa Loompas kind of having their their lessons singing, which I know is from the book. Like I said, I don't remember if those lyrics are the same lyrics that they have in the book. I think it is, but I don't know for sure. But but yeah, had a blast with this one. Another another great Tim Burton movie. Let me know. Do you want to see more Tim Burton movies? Like I said, of course I have Mars Re. Um, Mars Attacks, that's one I'm definitely doing for sure that's out on Patreon for early access if you're watching this on YouTube. You can watch this full reaction on Patreon as well if you're interested. Let me know if you want to see more Tim Burton movies or if there's other classic movies. And the big question, actually, if you want me to do a commentary video on the original uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, if that would be something you'd be interested in, let me know in the comments as well. But thank you to everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And as always, remember, be active, be mindful, and be a hero. <laughs>